So this branch was cut off this rose bush last year and demonstrates some of the typical characteristics of a condition that we call fasciation. It is exemplified by a flattening of the vascular tissue as it grows and oftentimes presents itself as a flattening of the stem. It can also affect the fruit or the root or the flower of a plant as well. So it's not known exactly what is the cause of fasciation and some people think that it could be caused by a virus or some kind of bacterial infection or some other disease. It could also be a genetic mutation or some kind of environmental factor that might be affecting the plant. And it might be that there's a variety of causes in different plants as well. It might not be the same cause that we see in all plants that show characteristics of fasciation. So fasciation can occur in a wide variety of plants. It can occur in different parts of the plant and can present itself in different ways, but it typically does not affect the majority of the plant. In this case, it's only affecting the one stem. If you find a plant in your garden, it's important to note that this doesn't mean that your plant isn't healthy. Do not think that you need to remove that plant. Rather, think of it as a conversation piece and uh, something to add intrigue and interest to your landscape. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.